There's a famous scene in the old classic movie, Chariots of Fire, where Eric Little is about to run in the Olympics. He's running the 400, uh, a four times longer race than he's ever trained for, because he's refused to run on the Lord's Day. He calls it the Sabbath day. As he's about to run, one of the American runners comes and puts a little piece of paper in his hand. And he opens it and it says, the old book says, those that honor me, I will honor. Those are words from 1 Samuel chapter 2 and verse 30, where Eli had sons who were priests who were not honoring the Lord, but taking the Lord's portion of their sacrifices. Those that honor me, I will honor. I want to talk with you this morning about the second petition in the Lord's Prayer in Luke chapter 11. Father, let your name be hallowed. We talked about it yesterday and said that a lot of our prayers are really designed around our comfort. But hagiadzo means to hallow or sanctify. And it's interesting to compare this with two verses. One is in Isaiah chapter 29 and verse 23, where it says, They will sanctify the Holy One of Israel and stand in awe of the God of Jacob. Stand in awe. So to make holy or treat as holy God's name, that's parallel to standing in awe of him. The second verse is in John chapter 17 and verse 17. It uses the same word that Luke chapter 11 and verse 2 does, hagiadzo. Jesus prays that his disciples be sanctified in the truth. Sanctified people who will sanctify God. Holy people will treat God as holy. So think of a couple terms together with me. To glorify God. To honor God. To love God. And to have no other gods before God. All of those are familiar, but all of those kind of wrapped up together are what it means to have as our primary request in prayer that God's name be treated as holy. Is that your primary request in prayer? When you pray for yourself, when you pray for a crisis that might hit, when you pray for your family or a loved one, when you pray for the church, when you pray for your country, is your primary and first request God's name to be honored, people to stand in awe of God. So all prayer begins, in some ways, with a transformation of the heart. And then we're ready to pray. To say it another way, the first three petitions in Matthew's longer form of the Lord's Prayer are all about the Lord. The last three petitions are when we turn to ourselves. But if we turn to the Lord first, We'll be able to turn to ourselves in prayer in a clearer way. Those that honor me, I will honor. Honor God first in your prayers, and you'll be surprised with delight at the other provisions he brings your way. This is your daily devotional for Thursday. I hope you're doing well. Hope you read your Bible and pray every day and seek first the kingdom of God. Hope you pray for the church and hope you pray for me. And hope you'll pray that God's name be treated as holy, honored, sanctified, loved, with no other gods before him. God bless you as you serve him today.